Hey guys, we are going to do a huge haul. We have tons of stuff going on in the house. We are canning a ton of potatoes, a ton of, I think 50 pounds of potatoes, 50 pounds of carrots that I bought at the store. But I also need to do most of my stuff on a couple of days that I am home. And that is few and far between because I have to be at the doctor's so much. So what we're doing is we are walking through each gardens. Um, the kids got some laundry baskets, they have some baskets, and I am going to basically walk through. And then as I walk through, ask who wants to do what in that garden. Like, hey, this needs to get done. Who's gonna take this on? So that is what we're doing right now. That is how it looks most of the time. Wow. There is not one tomato on this massive we thing. That is crazy. Okay, so I am going to turn this around so you guys can see what I am looking at. And then you're probably going to, this is just like real life, guys. I am going to say, hey, can you do this? Can you do this? Because we need to get this done. I only have, I had an appointment on Monday. Today is Tuesday. We're doing the 50 pounds and the 50 pounds carrots and potatoes today. Um, I'm doing this stuff. They already picked peaches to go for tomorrow. We're going to pick this stuff today. We're going to can um, tomorrow as well. Will be a full canning day. Thursday I have an appointment and then Friday I think we're going to go see about picking blackberries and apples. So just trying to get it done guys. So they have their baskets. They're going to go get scissors. Okay my daughter she clipped some of this holy basil this morning. We are going to cut these leeks um, so they will grow again. So that will be one project that can happen. And we're gonna walk through here and see what's what. That is just, I don't even know, should we just pull that? I do not see one tomato on that. I don't know, there's some cherry tomatoes red on the, um, maybe they just need shaking. That is just so weird, isn't it? That is a problem. they are starting to. <laughs> okay. So. Ah, they found their way outside. Yeah. So we can pull the one carrot in that bed. That looks like it's actually coming up above there. Um, we are going to walk over here. I am not going to focus on bugs right now. I am focusing on what we're going to do. Oh, look how pretty. All right, let's see. Looking in here and seeing what there is. Ooh, I see acorn squash in there. Those are beautiful. Um, so we will be taking care of those bugs probably after we collect things or tomorrow. Another acorn squash in there. Can you guys see it? No, no. Can you see it? There we go. Oh, these squash bugs this year are horrible. Let's see, what's in here? Some other ones starting. I can see another one over there. I don't think any of these are actually ready yet, but they look like they're getting there. Oh, there's one down there. See that? That may be ready. It looks skinny and long, but it looks like it's turning color. So we may need to put that off. So we'll have somebody Okay. These, I just see flowers. I don't see anything happening here as of yet. These leeks here are also going to get cut. All these leeks here are going to get cut. Um, these carrots are going to get pulled. Let's see what's over here. What kind of squash is here? I don't have my... Um, I don't have my map. Of, oh, there's a yellow squash there. So we can grab that. Do you want to just grab that one real quick? And there is another one there that we can probably grab that's small. Those can just be eaten, most likely. I would cut them both. 
Um, we'll cut some of these greens here. Probably need to go on the other side to see which ones of those are actually done. But look how gorgeous those are. Yeah, so I was going to have a little cookie here. So you're doing leeks? <clears throat> yeah. All right, so you are going to come over here and do leeks as well, okay? Oh, okay. My daughter had it all situated. Alrighty. Yeah, I see some in there. See, there's another one down there. My daughter's going to grab some of those. Um, I'm feeling very pregnant here. Alright, let's see. These are all cucumbers, so do you want to just take a peek in there? I don't see any yet, but I see a lot of flowers. I see some like starters. Okay. Okay. So if you want to, I'm not going to say your name, but you know who I'm talking about. Can you grab a laundry basket and we're going to dig these potatoes here? Because these are just destroyed, okay? Yep. Yeah, dig to see whatever potatoes there are for us to eat. Yep, so there's this, and then they go back to there. So this here, pretty much back all there, um, is potatoes in two separate beds. There is weed mat in between there. You just can't see it, because there's weeds in there. Oh, I see some, there's a cucumber that's like this big. Like pickable? Or? No, next oh. time probably. Um, so these we'll probably check maybe Saturday. I'm thinking we'll probably check these again to make sure that there's nothing ready. So I think everyone is on something in here. I have people that are going to be working on these potatoes and then she is doing, she's on the other side of that massive plant. She's gonna be doing the leeks and then the leeks over here. We'll come, we'll probably come back after the little kids are playing. Um, and we'll probably come back with the little kids after and let them pick the, um, the couple of carrots in that bed because they enjoy trying to like dig them up like it's a treasure, right? So we'll let them do that after. We're gonna go into the high tunnel now. So she got all of those done. That's how we'll leave them and then they will actually start to come out again in the middle. Do you see them? Do you see them? <laughs> these are, if you guys don't know, these are Chinese noodle beans. So cool, aren't they? So we are going to be picking the ones that the beans are actually like a little bit bigger in here. Um, we'll probably actually pull them all and then just eat some of them and then save any ones that have the big beans on them. We'll save those for seeds. So we will be picking all of these Chinese noodle beans. Uh, let's see what else. There seems like tomatoes that could be done. I should probably, let me go right first. Right first. Okay. So pretty. I think I need to harvest some flowers. I'll let the little kids pick some flowers and harvest those. Um, let me go. I'm going to just go up and down these rows, guys. I'm sorry if this is not super exciting for you guys, but this is what we're doing. Oops. Ugh. Dropped it. So my daughter's probably just going to, as we walk, she's probably just going to be looking at these peppers we're gonna look at them together I'll look at both sides because you never know sometimes when you're doing look at that one when you're doing stuff like this two eyes are definitely better than one let me tell you
are some cucumbers that are there starting. Probably not going to do those right now, honestly. We just left a handful. You can pick the carrots. Yes? Come over here. Come pick some flowers. Come pick mommy some flowers. We're going to pick flowers. Come on. In here. Is anyone else going to pick some flowers? Sure. Come on. Yes. Yep. Come on. I have a cucumber you can pick too. There's one that somebody can pick. You guys are looking at the peppers too. The beans that we planted. I don't know if you guys remember we planted these beans a couple weeks ago. Those are coming up and then we have I think broccoli or some type this of brassica is, uh, in there. Or kohlrabi. Maybe there is quite a few. I see there's a cucumber there and there's might be a couple in there to get. If you want to pick the flowers, go ahead. I see one little house. Oh, there's a couple Pick jalapenos. Them like we're gonna put them in a jar. Oh, yeah, those are chilies. Or jalapenos. I think they're jalapenos. Do you want to pick the, whatever's on there? There's some in the back there, I see. I need another bowl. I'm okay with them being in the same bowl. I still have tomatoes, so they're not going in with tomatoes. No, they're not going in with tomatoes, but they can go on the other. She's picking those. We're looking here. You'll notice as we get further back that things have changed a bit back here. So my daughter took out all those big squash that were right here. So all the zucchinis and all the um, delicatas, the squash bugs were just getting so bad. She pulled all, tried to pull all the squash bugs off and got that stuff in there. And then, did you plant in here yet or no? Yeah, there's lettuce in there. Okay, so there's, there's lettuce there. <laughs> this random, that's a um, sunflower randomly came up. And yeah, not so beautiful okra. I'm going to actually cut in here. melons going on. A couple days ago we had um, a mouse or mice that were eating the melons in the ground right here. Yay. All right so I'm going to show you this back section here. This is going to need to get weeded. Those have carrots in there. Um, I'm going to have the girl, my daughter who is doing the leeks, she'll come in here and she'll slice all of those down. Um, we are going to grab whatever tomatoes are red. I'm going to go back to the end here and see. There's actually quite a few tomatoes. Tomatoes. So those tomatoes will come in. Some stuff is growing here. It needs to get weeded a little bit. And then we're on the other side here. Nothing coming up so far. Let's see. We planted them in the front. Front. There's a this is actually supposed to be a yellow tomato. Those are yummy. Quite a few tomatoes that can get picked here. This is how tall. I don't know if you can tell. This is how tall our tomatoes grow. Probably 12 to 15 feet tall. Yeah. Some of the uh, beets are coming in over here over the side, just tiny. And then some of these are coming in. Let's dig through here, see if there's any peppers. I don't see any at this point. So, more tomatoes. Oh, yep, see the beets are starting to come up. See, they're so tiny. 
um, quite a few tomatoes, which is nice. And these, I thought these were going to actually die, and they look okay. So these are some of the brassicas that we just planted. Tomatoes will get picked, as you can see, and then we're going to go over there because we are doing all the celery. And then there's more leeks right here. Those are going to get cut as well. And these are bunching onions. We can probably cut the tops of those again. Tomatoes. Okay, I'm gonna squish in here. Maybe I'm not. Come here. The only ones we can. I picked these beautiful ones. I picked a couple. I picked a couple. Okay. You pick those flowers. It's very long, Mom. Um, uh -huh. So if you go down there, there's some right down there. Yeah. Flowers, flowers. You want one? Love flowers. Rejoice. You want one? Do you want this? Do not pull it in half. Go over there and grab the ones we can reach. Um, Don't step on the mounds. These are there. Okay. Sorry. You need two hands, kind of. I'll hold the top and you pull. There you go. Pull the rest of the bean off. Use two hands. Put your basket down because you don't want to rip the plant. Should I pull this one? Sure. <laughs> there's there's some down low. Wow. wow. It's not longer than me, but I can't fit it in my mouth. <sighs> my daughter's Omnipod just beeped, so I'm going to need to go change the Omnipod, but I'm just going to share with you real quick um, the celery because I have somebody that will work with the celery while I go inside and then I'll come back out after we're done putting a new So there's a ton of celery in here in the bed over here and then there is a bunch of celery over here so all of this is going to be cut and put in a laundry basket and all of this is going to be cut and put in a laundry basket so we can can it. I used to only um there's a cucumber right there. Can you reach it? I used to. We um, are gonna go through that in a minute. I'll show you what you're doing. I used to only dehydrate celery, but I never actually grew it before. Right there, see it? Um, I am going to try canning it because I thought that would be an easy way. A lot of times that we use like I'll do like a cream of soup, and I usually do like broccoli or something like that. Um, down, so get down, please. please. That's how it's going to break. Um, so it's I'm going to try and do some celery in pints mm. so that I could do like cream of celery oh soup. My God. I wouldn't want, um, Miss Sweet Pea, can you follow me? Or we're heading towards the house, okay, as I keep talking. Okay, so I normally, I don't can lots of soups, and I have a reason for that. When I have... Um, I have 15 people I'm feeding every day. Um, at least we have people over and stuff as well. If there's more beans after, or we'll pick something else. So, um, I have people that I'm feeding every day. There is no way, like, a quart of soup is like two people. I would need <laughs> to have oodles of soup canned if I were to do that. I'm not opposed to cooking. Um, sometimes I'll do a couple like just an end of a end of the season type thing. I might do like just like a chicken soup or something like that just for if one person was sick. But as far as canning um, actual soups, I don't do that because what I do if I make a soup is I'm going to do like two quarts of a meat and then you know, maybe eight quarts to 10 quarts of different vegetables like that. So the same with this celery idea is I'm not gonna can cream of celery soup, but if it's already done 
in a container, then I'll be able to take the celery and use that to make a cream base. Are you showing me the carrots? There's a littler one, and where's the bigger one? Another big one. Oh my goodness, you got some huge ones. Put those on the table and we'll show everybody everything that we've got from the gardens today. I got a whole bunch right up here. You do have a whole bunch. Oh, you're so strong. Alrighty, headed to the next garden. My daughter actually said there was some things ready over here. So <clears throat> I have people finishing up some of the things over there. Um, we got, she's already jumping on the trampoline. So we got her um, Omnipod all done. Seems to be working. She's running high. She ended up getting insulin through it. So yay. <clears throat> Let's go see. Oh, the pears are getting bigger. Do you see them? I don't know how big they'll actually get, but they are getting bigger. Yay. There's a handful of them. Quite a few grapes on here. Won't be ready for probably like a month and a half, but lovely. <clears throat> so the beans are coming up that you put in there, huh? It's good. And the beets and the beans. Oh yeah, and the beets are coming up. That's good. Yeah, I'd wait. They'll probably get bigger. That one over there is bigger, but probably wait. Do you see it? Oh, yeah. I was looking at the little one. I was like, what are Where? you doing? In the grass. Smaller. So those would be a little bit longer. One lone tiny cauliflower head. Or you can go in a stir fry or something. Some Brussels sprouts that are all starting to flop all over because we've had such hot weather. Might end up doing these leaves, but we have enough on our plate right now to be doing. I <clears throat> see how they all bolted like this. It's because it's so darn hot. All right, we are going to, I think, go over and check some of these trees to see if any of the apples are ready. We have various trees. We have various trees, um, and some of them bloom. No, what would you call that? Some of them are ready before others. I just checked the um, pears, and the pears are hard. They will be a while. Check on this. No, it's still hard. You want it to like fall off in your hand. <clears throat> I think the middle one usually does that first. So we have quite a few. I think that we'll, we grabbed a couple just for like fresh eating, but they're not ready yet. Here is a patch of potatoes. I think we're probably gonna just wait a couple days. We have enough for us to eat right now and we'll wait and harvest those in a couple days. And then let's check the potatoes over here. This is a cherry. Apple. No, not a cherry. Yeah. Um, what are they called? Not crab cherry apple. apples. Crab, crab apples, yeah. I think it was a nectarine, actually. Like that one over there. So we're just going to go just on the other side. I'm going to check that tree. And then I have another tree here. And then one on the other side of the fence. I'm sitting on the ground. I actually sat on the swing for a minute over there. My back is killing me. Oh, I hope they hurry up and get the referral in. Um, I've been fighting with my midwife. It's so different because normally um, I have like a one-on-one -on -one, like personal relationship with my, my at-home midwife. And I could text her like any time of day or night and be like, hey, this is my issue and actually talk to her. Um, I obviously would not be like disrespectful. Like if there wasn't really an emergency, I wouldn't do it in the middle of the night. But anyway, anyway, 
my back has been in so much pain for weeks now and I have a hard time standing for more than 15 minutes and there's lots of stuff to do. So <laughs> I made it from over there halfway to where I want to go over there and forage some red raspberry and some other things which I'm going to show you in a minute once I get up. But right now I just saw that we have some plantain that was freshly grown um, here so I think I'm going to collect some of this and then we can bring that in the house as well. I mean, honestly, this is like a weed in my grass. So, might not be much. It's just a handful. I'm going to um, take these and probably put them in some oil. Um, I use this to make homemade salad. Oh, it's so hard. I have an appointment, too, on Thursday um, for that gestational diabetes test. Yuck. And you're supposed to sit there for three hours after I've already sat there for two hours um, driving there. It takes me two hours to get there. Then I'm supposed to sit three hours before they take my blood. Yeah, you know, they might, I might be leaning over a chair and they might get a bad view, but that's how life's gonna be because, yeah, very uncomfortable. I'm gonna show you what I'm doing. I'm in nasty, weedy mess. Okay, so in here we have, this actually came with the property. It's like our property line is kind of like, they have a fort right there, like right on our side of the property. Um, <clears throat> ragweed, yes, if you hear me with my sniffles, that's why. I just dropped my towel. All right. These are all wild raspberries. The weird thing is, is they do not produce raspberries, but they are wild raspberries. And the tea for these raspberries, probably because they've been here for a really long time, is incredible. Um, it works incredibly well as a health beneficial type raspberry thing. So all we do is we come and we strip the leaves off of these each year. It's like all along here, and then you can see, let me see if I can zoom in there. Let's see. And then we also have wild um, rose hips. So those are great for vitamin C. So we are collecting both of these. Um, I need to find a different spot that I can kind of sit. Okay, so she is doing raspberries here. Grabbing the leaves and stuff off. And she is picking. Tell them what you're doing, please. I'm getting rosehips. Can you kind of show it? Yeah. Yeah. So she's just picking those like that, and we will dry all of those. And she's just ripping these off. We do, honestly, like these plants, it doesn't bother us. So she is just stripping the raspberries. We do this every year. Um, just to go about halfway down the plant and stripping all the leaves. We use red raspberry, um, red, res red raspberries a lot. And then as you can see, there is a ton of those rose hips right there that she is picking. My daughters are so sweet. They're gonna finish that up. I need to lay down, lean over something, something like that, because yeah. Oh, I try not to take um, anything during pregnancy as far as pain and stuff. And I usually have a really high pain threshold. I mean, hey, I've had 14 babies and no drugs. So I have a pretty high pain threshold yet. Ow, my back hurts and I just feel over it. You know, it's like I could deal with it for a couple days or a little while. Um, but I would have appreciated if by now, three weeks plus, that somebody would have written me a stinking referral. Because I know as soon as I go, I'm gonna feel 10 times better.
Okay, we're back inside with all of our stuff all harvested. I'm going to go over what um, we got at the table here, maybe a little bit of the plants that we're going to do, and then I'll go over to the herb bin and then show you everything that we have for the herbs. So we got some cucumbers here, might do pickles, might just eat them, not quite sure. We got these um, Chinese noodle beans. So the fat ones that have the um, bean in it, we'll be saving those for seeds, we'll hang them dry. And then the skinnier ones like this, we will chop them up and like stir fry those. Those would be super yummy. We got two things of peaches here. So we, these ones right here are harder. We're not gonna do those tomorrow, but we will be doing these tomorrow. I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do with these yet. I'm playing around with the idea of making a huge thing of jam and then taking and making that jam into a peach barbecue sauce. Playing around with the idea, stick around, you'll find out what we make with it. A couple of apples that are ready that are just gonna go in our snack bin. Here are some onion tops. These are going to get chopped up and either frozen or in the dehydrator. Okay, so the onions, they are going to get chopped up and probably put in the fridge for the night and then in the dehydrator tomorrow because the dehydrator is going on um, with greens. And then we have a lot of leeks, this huge laundry basket full of leeks, and then this of leeks. And this time, instead of making leek powder, I am going to be chopping those up and canning those. So yes, that's exciting. We have all this celery here. A bunch of this celery, I am going to be chopping up and canning some of that. Some of the leaves I may be um, taking and putting um, for dehydrated celery powder. These couple of squash, I have three of the yellow squash and one of the spaghetti squash. Those will just be for fresh eating. These carrots here will just be for fresh eating. The tomatoes um, probably will have, there's this and then this one here, probably throw all those together and then in two days, those will end up going in the freezer. Um, these potatoes, we are just going to eat fresh. And then we have these peppers here. So if I make, um, if I make pickles, then I might use some of those. Um, and then some of these I may, chop up and throw in the freezer. So that is about a wrap on the grocery, on the grocery tour, not a grocery tour. Well, kind of a grocery tour on the harvest tour. So we harvested all this stuff. And then tomorrow you will get to see in the every bit counts challenge, how we put all this stuff into our pantry. So thanks for coming along with us today. We are just blessed by your presence. <laughs> I hope y'all have a blessed and wonderful day.